Hey guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, the update could be on us at any time, so we got to be uh, prepped and ready to go. Um, so we're going to talk about that today. We're also going to talk about how some of these new troops, new defenses can uh, impact or what their impact could potentially be on warships. But uh, also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you simply throw in that code chicken into the shop because what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm giving away a uh, lost and crowned uh, Clash Anniversary book. You can't, I don't think you can buy this book, um, but I'll explain the giveaway right here. And yeah, so I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, the Critter Launcher and the Laser Ranger, how they Im impact uh, warships. So let's go ahead and uh, and talk about that a little bit here. And also, um, <clears throat> If you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll keep you updated on everything that is updates and warships and everything as the game goes on. So, what I'm really excited about is a couple things. This, these new troops, or the, let's talk about the Critter Launcher, Critter Launcher first. The Critter Launcher is awesome because I think it's really going to slow down or at least just make Seekers little bit less insane it's going to be a nice defense to be able to slow them down and you know just cause problems for them because the seekers they they don't work like normal troops right they don't attack stuff that's around them they only attack engine room so when the the, the when the defensive critters are eating them they have no way to defend themselves so they're just going to pile up and keep eating and eating and eating um so i think that's really going to hurt seeker players also if you guys didn't check out um, some of the other stat, uh, the some of the minor changes, Boom Surprises will now target air troops, and I think that's going to be pretty huge for impacting rocket choppers. Rocket choppers typically, um, rocket choppers typically are pretty dominant when we don't have boom cannons or when we don't have other prototypes that are out there to stop them. The Boom Surprise adds another layer, another element, something else to make them a little bit harder to use. And I think that's great because it, it really, um, you know, it, it really stops things from getting... Like the, the thing in Warships is sometimes Rock Choppers are super dominant, sometimes Critter or Seekers are super dominant. And typically that's just because they're early in the tech tree and we don't have the defenses to stop them. So this gives us a couple more options of stopping annoying metas, um, and no offense to those of you guys that, that use them, it's perfectly fine and viable, it's just I always get killed by them, so I find them annoying. Um, so a couple more tools in, in the belt, in the tech tree, to uh, to hopefully uh, combat some of these really, uh, what can be really annoying metas when you don't have the right uh, tech to slow them down. Um, so I think that is great. And the laser rangers, the laser rangers are interesting. They're interesting because they don't cost any GBE, but I don't see them being super um, usable, super viable in warships, only because they're not that fast and they don't take out mines. What do we typically have um, early on in the season when laser rangers may come into play? We typically have mines. So, I don't know. I just don't see the laser rangers being put in place of heavies at the start of the season. And I don't really see them being that viable in the middle of the season because we're likely going to be using bombardiers. Now, that's not to say mixing in a couple of them might not be a bad idea. Because, I mean, you think about it this way. Um, they have a ton of range. They're essentially, essentially a Lasertron, right? And Lasertrons would, on paper, be amazing in warships. The only thing is, they're so uh, expensive, we don't even really get a chance to use them. So... You know, um, in, in that aspect, they could be really strong because they don't cost any GBE to deploy. They do a really good amount of damage. They're tricky to keep alive. Their movement is kind of hard to control. They're a little bit all over the place. Um, but I think that could potentially make them a viable option, um, especially for non-instant training players or people that don't have a ton of time to play the game or maybe they're a little bit behind in tech and they don't have something that's, you know, super good. Um, the laser rangers are almost guaranteed to take down the base, um, especially when we think like early on in warships, right? Like we don't have rock launchers, we don't have shock launchers, um, missing some other things. 
Um, Laser Rangers, uh, you know, they're going to stay back. They've got really good range. They do damage to a bunch of buildings from very far away. Um, so in that aspect, they could be really good as like a free-to-play concept um, for pushing and just chest collecting and that kind of thing. So, you know, it's, it's always good to have those kind of troops. You know, it's kind of like a poor man's bombardier in a sense with the range that they have. Um, but they just, I don't know, they move a little bit too quickly and they die a little bit too easily and they don't quite do enough damage um, where I could see them being really dominant in warships, but that's really not to say that they won't have their place. I think they will have their place. They're not going to be like a medic or, um, you know, all of the proto cannons or essentially all of the proto troops um, other than, you know, rare instances that never have a place. I, th I think they're, they're definitely strong enough to, you know, warrant their their spot in, in some specific metas. So we'll see how that's going to work. That's just kind of my thoughts, thinking out loud on uh, on some of these changes. Um, but yeah, I think that's good. Anything that makes warships more fun and it's going to be, you know, I don't know if or when. Well, I assume this stuff, they're going to have to bring in laser rangers at some point. Uh, into warships. I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but I'm hoping that it's early on and, and everybody gets to use them and we get to really, you know, figure out how they're going to work. Just because that's the most fun thing about warships, right? That's something we talk about all the time. Making it different. Making it, uh, you know, make us think. Make us change. Make, make us try new things. That's what keeps it fun. Um, yeah. And I mean, if the brick uh, if, if the brick crashing bug is fixed, then that would be amazing. That would be huge. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, we don't have anything else really that's going to impact warships uh, too, too much. But, you know, we do have some changes that are coming that are going to affect it. So I think that's interesting if, uh, you know, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, I don't see the Critter Launcher really doing a lot to uh, stop or slow down. Um, stop or slow down uh, Heavy Chopper's Bombardiers. Um... They, the thing is that they, if you, we look at the sneak peeks on the Crater Launcher, they don't have a ton of range. They, they're very good and they're very strong, but they don't have a lot of range. So, you know, they're, they're going to be primarily targeting whatever's the front troop. So that's going to be your heavies. That's going to be your uh, scorchers, things like that, that we want to take damage. Um, they're going to get the, they're going to get targeted first. While our back troops that are doing damage are going to be able to take them down. Now, I think... The strongest troops to use against the critter critter launchers. I keep calling them critter cannons. Sorry, critter cannon is a proto proto troop cannon. It's not the critter launcher defense. Um, but yeah, I think the the defenses that do splash or the troops that do splash damage, i.e. scorchers and um, you know maybe grenadiers or things like that, stuff that doesn't shoot one shot at a time. I think they're going to be a lot better against the critter launchers. Um, because they're going to be able to just do a full sweep, take out the critters, and then move on to, uh, and then move on to that next, um, <clears throat> move on to the next defense, rather than, you know, a bombardier takes a very long time to stop, target, shoot, stop, target, shoot, so if it's doing that a lot, then that could actually mess up the bombardiers pretty well, so, you know, you got to factor that in too. Um, what is with everyone running all this ice at such low VP? This is crazy. Um, okay, let's throw another shock down here, but um, but yeah, so like I said at the beginning of the video guys um, Make sure you throw in that code chicken in the shop and uh, We're gonna run the giveaway for two weeks on the discord server um, If you don't know how to join discord the link is in the video description literally all you have to do is click on it on your phone or on your computer and um, It'll take you right to the invite if you don't have an account you can set one up pretty easily um, and then we're gonna have a special room where all the giveaways uh, where we're collecting all the screenshots and then it's just going to be some sort of bot, some sort of automated thing. It's going to go through everyone um, everyone um, that entered and we're going to pick the winner from there and then I'll have to figure out how to ship it and stuff. Apologies if the shipping's a little bit slow. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, so yeah, at this point, guys, I want to know what you guys think uh, of the update because as far as I know, you might even have it. You might even have it in your hands by the time this video is out. I do not know when the update is coming, but all I know is potentially sometime this week. And in my experience with Boom Beach, that is subject to change as always. So, um, 
Yeah. Yeah. So just let me know what you guys think of the update and just what you want to see. Should we max it? The, I'm, I mean, I'm going to max out the laser, laser ranger. I'll probably have enough gold for that. And hopefully enough resources to max out the, uh, the critter launcher as well. Because that's going to be a lot of fun just to play around with and build some bases around. And, uh, adding four of them, I feel like, is going to be really interesting. It's also going to be cool to see some of the higher level guys. Um, you know, what kind of layouts that they run with the critter launchers. Um, it's always interesting to get new stuff in the game. Um, but th that was basically everything I was most excited about, and that's how I think, or, you know, how, how I feel it's going to potentially impact uh, warships. Of course, remains to be seen. We don't actually have it just yet, but uh, still exciting nonetheless. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, make sure that, uh, that you guys let me know that stuff down below in the comment section. And, I, yeah, hope to see you on the Discord server if you are going to enter the giveaway. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure you leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.